Hello and welcome to the start of the third period. This is Dylan Hutton along with we've got a special guest up here. Adam's just going to do stats now. I've got Dylan Coe up here. Patrick Henry basketball player. He's injured, though, out for the rest of the season. and It's on senior night, too. But he's going to join me up here in the booth. That's his present. He gets to do the color commentating up here for his senior night. Yeah, thank you for having me on here, Dylan. And I hate that I'm not going to be able to play for the rest of the season. But, hey, at least I'm on here with you. Uh, yeah, you can get some good notoriety out here with us. Yeah. Marion's got the ball here, as it looks like number 24. Cox has it out here on the outside. Throw it over here in the corner to Jordan Williams. Rebels have really had a hard time stopping any sort of run to the basket earlier in the game. Man's lay in no good, rebounded by Morgan Yarber. It's going to be a foul call. Looks like it's going to be on number 20, Wagner, who already has 11 points so far for Marion. She's, she's got the bulk of the points scored for Marion early in this game. Rebels it get looks it like here. they've been uh, penetrating from what I can tell, and that's not – Looking too good for us. Uh, yeah, they're getting zone. to the inside fairly easy. And they're putting a lot of pressure on us on the defensive side. So and the way offense. she's been knocking them down, I mean, when you penetrate and kick like that and with a good shooter, I mean, if they're hot, they're hot. Yeah, Jade Miller had an open look right there. She missed it got rebounded by Morgan Yarber, and Yarber got fouled as she was trying to put it back up, so she'll go to the line. That was a foul on Wagner. Actually, that foul was on Jordan Williams. The previous foul was on Wagner. That is – Williams' third foul here early in the third period. Lady Rebels trail 27-18. Yarber misses her first free throw. So still 27-18. Rebels really got to cash in from the line. Yeah. What's the, what are they shooting right now from free throws? They've Chris Ann made a couple there early. Morgan Yarber misses the second one, gets her own rebound, but ends up going out of bounds off of Yarber. They've shot fairly well from the free throw line. They're probably shooting about 50%. But yeah. Other than they're just not getting very good looks on offense, and when they are, they're just not executing them. They're getting out-rebounded, too, there for stretches. They got on a little run right there early and brought it yeah. back to a nine-point game, but that's where we're sitting right now, too. They've just got to get another on another good one. run. Yeah, they went on a 7-0 run, and then I think they gave up like a 4 They're just run. driving in a wheel right now. Yeah, they drive it in, missed the shot, though, yeah. rebounded by Tyree Wilmoth. Wilmoth oh. gets the ball stolen away by 32 Pennington, and she puts it back up, and it's good. Turnover, turnover there as McCauley loses it. Drive to the basket by Wagner. No good. Rebounded by Wagner. McCauley ends up getting it after Wagner misses. Rebels on the break here. McCauley driving. She's going to get fouled. Looks like it's going to be a blocking foul. I don't know who it's going to be on. There's two of them down there. It's going to be on Pennington. It's going to be on number 32, Kate Pennington. So McCauley's going to go to the line here as the Rebels trail by 11, 29 to 18. You might start cashing from the free throw line. Yeah, smart play out there by McCauley, though. She stopped. And jump stop. Yeah, she did a little jump stop there and picked up the foul there. Drew the foul. First free throw is no good, though. So. Got a sub. Yeah, it looks like Hannah Carver is going to check in here for Tyree Wilmoth. You know, if they can get Hannah Carver to be more aggressive in the post, you know, she's, she's just a freshman, right? Yeah, she's just a freshman. I mean, by her sophomore, junior year, if they can just get her up there, I mean, she'll be all right. Yeah, she'll be. She's just young right now. Second free throw is good by McCauley. So, Marion's driving it back down the floor here. They just really got to keep Wagner off the – beyond the arc, keep her shots contained, get a hand in her uh-huh. face. It's going to be a missed shot right there by Pennington. Rebound, though, by number 24, Cox. But the, she misses on the putt back, and now the Rebels drive it back down. So, they're getting good looks, Marion. Is. They've missed a lot of open layups. Yeah, they just – they can't make nothing right now, which is good for the Rebels. That look, Carver that takes like a jump a shot, and it's no good. Looks like she got hit there, but they didn't call a foul. Loose ball. It's going to go back to Patrick Henry as it bounced off of Jordan Williams. Carver had an open lane right there, but she settled for that jumper. Yeah. She doesn't need to be settling for jumpers right now. She needs to use her size and get underneath the goal and work with Jade. Jade Miller for three, and it's good. Good. 29-22 now the Lady Rebels trail. Jade Miller gets hot. She's not like you from beyond the arc. She's streaky. (laughs) Yeah, but – I think she's a more consistent shooter than I am, probably. It's a it's gonna be a foul. Look like it's going to be a moving screen. What do they call that? It's going to be 32. on number 32, though, uh, Kate Pennington. And that might be her. I don't know if they've updated the scoreboard. If not, that's her second foul. So She now has two fouls. 
Marion has four team fouls. The Rebels have zero. So, game started off. PH had seven team fouls within the first quarter. Really? Yeah, it was a rough, rough start there for the Rebels. Re the Patrick Henry has it here as Morgan Yarbrough throws it out to Emily Deskins. Really trying to just settle things down here. They only trail by seven. It's Carver out to Yarber. Yarber's holding it out, trying to find somebody open. She works it to Deskins. They're going to call well, travel on Deskins. So that's a turnover there for Patrick Henry. Man, will take over. How many turnovers has BH had? Don't know. I don't think Adam keeps up with that stat. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that advanced up here with our statistics. It's going to be a deep. three taken there by Cullop. No good. Rebounded by Sam McCauley. She loses it and eventually gets corralled by Marion. It's going to be a jump ball. See where they're going to – it's going to go to Patrick Henry. Is it me or does it seem like every jump ball has went to Patrick Henry? I don't think Marion's got a <laughs> jump ball. I seriously don't. Uh. I don't know, though. McCauley's going to break it down the floor here for the Rebels. We've got 440 to go here in the third period. We're not complaining about it, though, if every jump no. ball goes. You know, the score should be higher for both teams. They both have just missed wide open looks. Emily Deskins for three, and it's good. 29-25 now. The Rebels have cut it to four. They trailed by nine to start this second half. Now they've cut it to four, so we'll see what they do here. Marion has it. Wagner back out to Cox. Cox at the top of the key looking for somebody. She gets it to Cullop. Cullop to Williams. Williams back out atop the key to Wagner. Wagner in the corner to Cullop for three. No good. Oh. Rebounded, though, on the inside by Cox. She's fouled. Who was that on? Did you see who that foul was on? Um, I did not. It's, uh, it looks like to me that every time Marion puts up a shot, we can't corral the rebound. It either gets tipped up or where they even get an offensive rebound. Yeah, Marion does a good job of keeping the ball alive. They have. They have. It's like Kimmy Wilde's going to check in for the Rebels. She's coming in for Morgan Yarber, and Chrisanne Tipton's coming in for Emily Deskins. Coming out of halftime, our half-court defense hasn't looked terrible. I mean, we've scored on about all of them, but we just can't pull down a rebound. Yeah, we're having a hard time on the defensive glass. 31-25 now as she makes both her free throws. Risky pass gets stolen away there. And it looks like there's going to be a foul there as the Rebels were trying to trap. It's like Jade Miller landed funny on her. I don't know if she's it's her ankle or what it, what it was. She She's limping kind of, pulling at her right ankle. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But she stays in here. Marion gets it off the foul, which was a turnover before by Patrick Henry. It's like Cox here in the corner, back out to number 12, Williams. Williams in the other opposite corner to 20, Wagner. Wagner's looking inside. She's going to get it inside to number 32, Pennington. And Hannah Carver is going to pick up a foul there, it looks like. And I believe that's going to be her second. It will be her second. Morgan Yarber checks back in for Carver. And Tyree Wilmoth comes in for Jade Miller. I guess Coach Thomas saw her look like she was injured. So the way she landed, she holding on to her leg. Number 12, Williams for three. No good. Rebounded again by Cullop on the inside. Rebounded off the miss Jeez. by Cullop. By Cullop. This will be a foul again on Patrick Henry. And Marion's just getting to rack it up on rebounds right now. It's been about a minute since we've had a possession past half court. Yeah, everything's been down on this end of the floor here for Patrick Henry or for Marion. So, looks like Wagner's going to go up to the line here. Wagner's first free throw is good. So it's 32-25, and it's back to a seven-point game. See, the Rebels got on that 6-0 run, and then they give it right back up. It's a game of runs. Second free throw on the way from Cullop, or excuse me, Wagner. It's good. Rebels break the press here, and there they're going to get it down about the top of the key. Morgan Yarber's got it. Throw it inside to Wilmoth. Wilmoth's trying to do a good post move, unable to. He's going to throw it back out here as 
Tipton's on the drive. She's going to miss, get her own rebound. Actually, it's going to be a loose ball, go out of bounds off of Marion. So the Rebels will retain. And the Rebels have just had some sloppy possessions, too. They've had some great possessions, but what hasn't been great has been sloppy. Uh, yeah, Tyree 100%. Wilmoth for two, no good, rebounded by Morgan Yarber. Good hustle there by Yarber on the boards. Deskins on the drive. They're going to pass it back out to Yarber. Yarber to Wilmoth. Wilmoth back out to Tipton. Tipton to Wild. Wild inside to a wide open Morgan Yarber, oh. who loses it. It's going to get the ball turned over there as number 24 Cox is bringing it down on the fast break, throws it to Wagner. Wagner inside a loose ball picked up by Chris Ann Tipton. So miscommunication right there by Marion leads to a turnover, and now the Rebels have it back here. Marion could have stretched the lead to 10 right there. Again. That pass is going to be tipped and go out of bounds off of number 10, Cullop. So the Rebels will retain as it's like Hannah Carver is going to come in for Morgan Yarber. Both teams have four fouls apiece. Inbounds to Tipton. Tipton loses it. Dives. Loose ball on the floor. It's going to be picked up by number 24, Cox. She was literally laying on the floor, got up, right up, and shot it. So now the Hurricanes lead by 10, 35, 25. That's a turnover. Well, it looked like it was going to be turned over. It goes out of bounds off of Marion Defender. So they're going to get the ball back here. Patrick Henry is they trail by 10. Yeah, that last play she was laying down and picked the ball up. Right on her knees and stood right back Another up. Another turnover here as the Rebels just pass it right to Callie Cox. And it's 37-25 now as we got two minutes to go to the third period. Chris Ann Tippin's getting trapped. She's going to get it out to Wilmoth. Wilmoth on the drive. The Rebels have numbers down there. They had three on two, but don't take advantage of it. Pass it back out here around the key. Four Another loose turnovers. ball stolen by Jordan Williams. She drives to the basket. Lay in good. 39-25 now, and things are getting out of hand here for the Rebels. Wilmot's getting trapped here. We've got 136 to go. Almost another turnover. It's going to go out of bounds, though, off of Marion. Looks like Bethany Richardson is going to check in for number 32, Kate Pennington. And also looks like number 34, Bernika Scott, is going to check in for number 20, Margaret Wagner. Morgan Yarber checks in for Tyree Wilmoth. Looks like Chris Ann Tipton's off the floor now as Hannah Carver's back out here for the Rebels. Inbounds is to Deskins. Some high intensity right now. Deskins here on the outside. Inside to Wilmoth. Wilmoth out to Deskins. We've got 120 to go here till the start of the fourth period. Lady Rebels trail 39, 1-25. to 25. A Missed shot there by Wilmoth. Rebounded by Wild. Mid-range jumper by Morgan Yarber, and it's good. 39-27 here. The Lady Rebels trail by 12. One minute to go until the end of the third period. They pass out here in the corner to Cullop. Cullop on the drive. Wilmoth, good defense. Throws it back out. Turnover there. Walk. Looks like they're going to call a travel on number 24, Callie Cox. So the Rebels are going to get it back here. 53 seconds to go in the third period. Deskins driving down the court. Wilmoth gets it. Wilmoth back out to Yarber. Yarber with another jumper from around the Free throw line, rebound though by Wilmoth off the miss. Rebounded again after Wilmoth's miss by Yarber. Yarber back out to Deskins, high pass is gonna go out of bounds off of Deskins' hand. So the Hurricanes are gonna take over here, 36 seconds to go. They lead 39-27 with 36 seconds to go, excuse me, in the third period. Really sloppy possession by there by the Rebels. Able to get a couple of rebounds, but that pass, trying to get it out of that trap, Morgan Yarber sort of Rushed it and went over Deskin's head. We've had a few sloppy possessions, but when we score on our possessions, and they're good. They're good. Marion worked it inside there to Richardson and got the two points there on an easy post move right there. She just turned and put it up. 18 seconds to go. Wilmoth is blocked by Richardson, gets her own gets her own block back. So Wilmoth's going to throw it inside to Yarber. Yarber misses, rebound by Richardson. We've got seven seconds to go here. Looks like number 24, Cox, is dribbling it down. I don't think she realizes how much time's left. It's going to be a three-pointer by Williams. It's no good at the buzzer. 41-27 here as we finish the third period, get ready to start the fourth. We're going to go ahead and 
stop this live segment, go ahead and start our fourth quarter segment. Just refresh your page. We'll be right back with you. 